that's why I want to I want to get out of retail before automation happens. Mm. You know, before I'm shown the door, because it's there, there's probably no there's no greater shame than having to be shown the door. You know, uh, by by a um by a I've company. seen it. Yeah, I've yeah. seen it. The yeah. most of the people they walked out managers yeah. they they were inside their crying and yeah. I and I felt it. You know what yeah. I mean? Like, You feel accomplished when you see your ideas come to life. So at the end of every day, obviously, you know, making a film or even acting in a film is hard work. But when, when you see the finished product, when you even see a rough cut, you, you see this, you get a great sense of accomplishment and nothing can top that because this is your ideas coming to life. You know, the underlining thing is, it's just that great sense of accomplishment to see your idea go from uh, an idea written down on a piece of paper to being it, seeing it um, on camera, on set, and then you've seen the rough cut, it's, it's, you know. Mm. It's a mind blowing, like. Yes, like, yeah. <laughs> I like, can't believe actually achieved that by random people that they do, ex no, seriously, excellent job. Good acting. No, seriously, good acting. It's, it's really hard to find people that they actually passionate about it. You know, like, um, how to say, um, they're willing to help out with that mm. unconditionally. There's no, there's no boundaries to it. Like, oh, no, I'm not doing this car, I'm not doing that car, mm. that car is silly. Just like you just, bam, go and do it, why not, you know? It's, it's... That's right. Um, and then, did you somehow rope the Rosim along the way into your production? Well, it's recently, it's, well, he, it's been all his life, honestly, and we all, I was, I was one of those people encouraging him to go for mm. it, go ahead. Yeah. You had a bump that stopped you there, don't just stop at that. Mm. Mm. You know, bulldoze it down, move yeah. forward, you know, don't look back. You always have bumps in that's right in, 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 in any career in your mm. life, you know what I mean? But at the end of the day he's achieving what he wants to do. Yeah. And hopefully you'll finish your um, your uh, big feature soon. That's yeah? right, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well the thing yeah. is it's it's, like... it's a long road, it's <laughs> yeah. gonna be ending soon, hopefully, yeah. yeah. So, like I say, yeah. I have no experience yeah. in acting or anything like that. I just watching movies. Yeah. Getting a few ideas, you mm. know. Don't look at the camera, stay away from the camera, you know. When did I come up? Shit. Yeah. I looked at the camera, man. <laughs> and how have you found that experience uh, being on screen? It's a, it, honestly, it's an amazing experience. It's it's absolutely amazing. Mm. It's just the, I'd say, the camera, you know, pointing at you, people watching you, you're acting with someone. You may say something and then you, you forgot one line, which is I did a few times with you. <laughs> but at the end of the day, you know, you, you, I, like I said, a few more shoots, five or ten shoots more, you'll get the hang of it and then you get more confident about it and comfortable. Yeah. And that's what pushes you through to, mm. be, to, to, to become better at it. Not perfect, but, you know, better. I've got a couple more questions. <laughs> Peter does as well. Um, oh, I can't remember my question now. I hate that. Sometimes <laughs> I want to say something, I'm like, man, it's right there. Oh. Oh, you go. So I just wanted to jump in. Um, outside of the lunchroom, are there any other future projects besides your feature film? Is there anything else that you're involved in at all? That you or anything that you're developing yourself besides your feature film and the lunchroom? Oh yes, of course, of course. Um, when, when when I turned thirty, um, as a thirtieth birthday present to myself, I um, I did a um, Kentucky tour with my then um, with my then <laughs> girlfriend. Yeah. And the funny thing was that you know on this tour, this tour gave me the biggest kick up the ass that I wish I got when I was in my 20s. Because, mm. you know what? Um, it it kicks him up to wake up, wake him up. Yeah. From, from a deep sleep. Up. Yeah. I, I've been on several overseas trips before. But a tool like this, it helped me understand that, you know what? Um, you, like I said, you, look, you have been living your life in other people, your adult life in other people's shadows. If you want to become this actor, writer, producer, director that you want to be, you're going to have to get out of those shadows and start being your own man. Mm. And that's what that tour taught me. And that, that's what that, yeah. And the thing is, and I want to create a, um, another web series similar to the, similar style to Lunchroom, but set inside a hostel, hostel dorm room, host, hostel common rooms, you know, but in, in like a hostel bar, where, where I have these kind of um, conversations with um, other characters, like other young characters who, um, who are going through similar, like going through similar episodes, like, you know, kind of like... Um, we're trying to, because, you know, travel actually does bring out the best and it can sometimes bring out the worst in a person's yeah. personality. Yeah. And I experienced that firsthand when I did this tour. I, I kept a, a travel diary with me 
And in that travel diary, I would write notes based on experiences I had. So and a if, lot of if them... he burps, oh, I burp there, you know. Like, yeah. Uh, um, anything like... that he pops up in his head, bam. Yeah, it's that's like Martin. it. Martin. Anything yeah. pops up, oh, oh, right, I'm like, Martin, that's not going to be an episode. <laughs> yeah. I am not going to, I'm not going to cooperate with you. Yeah. Someone else can do that. So, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so it's yeah. like, this is, so this is, that again, that is something that I'm passionate about. And this lunchroom web series is just, just, uh, just like one stepping stone further. Like one stepping stone towards that other project that I want to do. And, you know, and after that, you know, I, I, I did solo travels to Vietnam. And mm-hmm. like, which is as early as, which is quite recently, actually. This was in March last year. And again, more, more inspiration. Because I feel as if the further away from home I am, the more inspired I become. Mm-hmm. And I get more better ideas when I'm the further away from home. I get that's where the best ideas come from. Actually, what is your feature film about? Okay, so my feature film it's it's a it's more of a human drama. It's about a um a socially awkward pop culture nerd uh, who meets a um a, a very very disturbed um, drug addicted escort, and it's about a um and it, it's, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah I know yeah. that's that that's that yeah. the point yeah. Yeah. yeah so it's, yeah. it's, it's a long road. It's, because yeah, it's yeah, very yeah. different from the London. Yeah, it's very, very yeah, different. Yeah, completely different. Yeah. And it's yeah. like it's supposed to, it's supposed to be like a um, it's a it, it's an erotic movie. Yeah. No, not exactly. No, 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 no. no. I'm just saying. Oh, I'm just. I, 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 no. I haven't seen it. Oh, no. <laughs> oh no, I haven't. I'm just no. asking. Yeah, sorry. No, 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 <laughs> no. It's actually so it's it's a um brutally honest um drama about two social outcasts who such as the um pop culture mm-hmm. nerd and the. And the escort who are drawn together for all the wrong reasons. So it's 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 like a um, it's it, the pop culture nerd um sees like who who's he's just been um you know left heartbroken by the woman of his dreams. So he seeks solace in in the in the relationship with this escort, and that helps him um, it it just sort of takes him on a rite of passage that that helps him, you know, overcome some inner turmoil, and it helps him you know, any any any. He just, he's just, it's just his personal journey, looking for a second chance at love. So again, it's just a, it's just a brutally honest love story about two social outcasts who are drawn together for all the wrong reasons. So What's it called? It's called Brutally Honest Love. Okay. So there are previews and trailers available. So if you're, check them yeah, check them out. yeah. So yeah, so if you look up, yeah, bru- check yeah. them out. So if you, I'll check for you. Not bad. Yeah. So if, if yeah, so if Can't you do. Wait for the final. <laughs> So if you do go on YouTube, Hurry and, up, <laughs> if, you, if you're on YouTube and you look up Brutally Honest Love feature film, you will see some, you'll see two trailers and four previews and yeah, and do check them out because they are very, uh, I'm very proud of them. Yeah, I'm very proud of them. We're like, we're like friends, we're like family. We, we stick to each other. Yeah. If, if a manager or a store manager said something like, get, you know, get stuff, I'm not doing it. We all back each other up to it and we, we help each other. Don't get me wrong, we love the managers and store managers, but sometimes they're in the wrong and mm. we have to mm. stick together to, to help out, you know. It's like a decision we, they made recently <laughs> that I'm not happy about, mm. but, you know, they went through it and they're not stopping it at all. Mm. It's something mm. we can't change. We lost a lot of good managers mm. in the process. They lost a lot of, lot of good experience that they kept the company up but I don't know how they're gonna manage with that how 20 those people that have... 30 40 years experience oh, wow. yeah 45 years experience you know you, you can't get that from someone let's say you coming in a week like start, yeah, and then yeah. oh, I want to be a manager okay yeah 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 come in let's mm. start be a manager it's like we will I'll tell you um something happens about four or five years ago roughly we got a bakery manager that comes in with us and ha- she had no clue, okay? Sorry, a guy, he had no clue. He ordered 22 crusty bag. Mm. Guess how much we got? 22 pallets. <laughs> oh my gosh. 22 pallets to cramp it into one, into a tiny store, like storeroom. We start storeroom. calling up, um, you know, so, so do you want some crusty uh, pallets? <laughs> some error things like that that mm. that will screw up a company you know what i mean like but at the end of the day <laughs> to them we know nothing well That's how good you luck to them yeah. yeah yeah i know i know that it's 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 inevitable you know um 
the, 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 the problem is, I know that um, this is why I'm, this, this is why I want to get out of retail and go into entertainment. Oh, I'd rather, I'd, I'd rather, um, you know, go, go do something that, you know, that I'm passionate about. I know about the automation. I, I know about that. I know that retail is going to be, a, it's, it's a lot of, there's, there's a lot of branches of retail are going to die out. I know, I know that, especially, um, you know, especially maybe in, in this next recession. And that's something that's inevitable. And look, yeah. in the near future, when there's not going to be packers. They're going to be everything automated. Yeah. And the thing, One person yeah. or two person running the whole joint. Yeah. 200 plus people, they're going to be seers. Yeah. That's why I'm taking we them. We don't yeah. care about you. We're yeah. just a number to them. That's right. That, that's why <laughs> I, I take... I, we are yeah, a number, I'm yeah. serious. That's why I take, you know, acting, filmmaking, script writing, producing seriously. I, I, look, I think that, you know, the, the, quali- your, the, the quality of work is what stands out. That's why I'm a, I, I think of myself as a perfectionist when it comes to my work, uh, you know, especially this web series, you know, you know, and when I, when I speak to, when I speak to Martin about the quality of work, I tell him, I, I'm, I'm up front and honest, I tell him, look, there are some things in here that needs to be fixed, some things that, 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 that works out well. And because, you know, we, we, there's a, there's a, a lot of people want to be filmmakers. A lot, a lot of people want to create short films, want to create web series, but it's, it's down to quality of work. Yeah, and, and I believe that, you know, if if I create good content, the one that our audience, the, our, like our target audience will enjoy, then this is my ticket out of retail. This is my ticket into becoming, you know, a full-time professional actor, writer, director, producer, you know? So again, you know... <laughs> that's a lot to yeah, say. Uh. That's right. So again, you know what? I, I know that's why that's why I want to I get out of retail before automation happens, mm. you know, before I'm shown the door. So, because there, there's probably no... There's no greater shame than having to be shown the door, you know, uh, by, by, a, um, by a company. I've seen it. Yeah, I've yeah. seen it. The, yeah. Most of the people that walked out, yeah. managers, they, they were inside, they're crying. And, yeah. I, and I felt it, you know what yeah. I mean? Like, but it, it's inevitable. We cannot reverse it. So yeah. once yeah. they want to make a decision, out of the door. Yeah. Well, the future of retail, it's going to be what home, like your home delivered, home shopping. Buy a drone. Yeah. yeah. Home shopping, <laughs> drone yeah. shopping. Yeah. I want a car. <laughs> and there's... Buy a drone. You know. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, cool. It's like, it's like we're running downstairs to go up and a guy ordered a pizza. <laughs> and there's a it? pizza hut down the road. Yeah, that's oh. right. That's how true. can, how can people be, be so crazy <laughs> about it? What will I wait an hour, when go park a car, wait yeah. for a car, fight yeah. someone, fist punch someone. I, yeah. it, it might, that, when I work, it, 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 everything happens there. <laughs> Even okay. when in the line, they push in. You know? Yeah. You know what I mean? I could see. Rather than you go, go down, go to the shops, buy mm. it, come back. Really, rather you just go on the phone, I want this, 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 and that. You go and collect it or get it yeah. home delivered. Right. That, that's the Five fu- dollars. That is know? the future of um, it's the future. retail. That's the future of retail. Rather than paying someone $20 yeah. an hour. Yeah. Pay a guy five dollars yeah. to deliver it. Damn, yeah, that's, that's done. It. That's the future of retail. Rather than yeah. packing it on the shelf, we get someone to pack it on for whoever they want it out of the pallet jack. Bam, gone. Mm. That's what they have now. They have a they have a warehouse. Yeah. Just yeah. for home delivery. That's it. And there's only so many warehouse jobs available. There's only so many delivery yeah, driver jobs yeah. available. So again, that's that's the reason why that's I want to get out, yeah, get out of retail and go into. Entertainment. That brings us to the end of another episode of The Soul of the Couch. Again, I'm Lawrence. I'm Sam. And we'd like to thank our guests for this week's episode, some of the cast and crew of the web series, The Lunchroom. Yeah, thank you very much, Lawrence. It's great to be here. See ya. <laughs> Don't, yeah. 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 <laughs> Don't forget to check yeah. out the links below and Yay. subscribe too. See you next time. Good luck. <laughs>